Now I don't know if opening the door will scare them away, but we have two doves sitting on our balcony, or on our patio, I should say. See them? Right there they are. Aren't they pretty? And there's the Field Museum. Sue the T-Rex has got a new home inside. And they got a special prison presentation of mummies. But nothing on the daddies. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Aldens and Where the Heck Are the Aldens? We are at the Field Museum in Chicago. Now, I know we have been here before, but hopefully we're going to see a few new things today. And also, we have some friends visiting from Minnesota, and we're going to introduce you to them in just a second here. And we're going to take them around the museum and show them around the museum. So, let's go! So, here are our friends. This is Carl. Carl, we went to high school with Carl many, many moons ago. And this is his husband, Ted. And they live in Minnesota. And they're coming down from the Great White North today and uh, visiting for a while, right? You're here to actually see your mom, is it? or you're uh, or... going Actually, it's commemorating an anniversary of her passing. Oh, of her passing. That's what it is. That's yeah. right. That's right. And sealed. High school friends. And Seal High School friends, excellent. So we're gonna spend the day at the museum with these guys, all right? Sweet. So they have removed Sue, and Sue has her own place in the building now. And, but this is the newest dinosaur. Look at this thing. This is one of the largest dinosaurs <laughs> that ever walked the earth. Look at that the size of this thing. <laughs> And of course, one of the most famous things that are here in the museum are the fighting elephants. Hey, look at this. They got creature features. And what is creature features? Hi. Hi. We have a lot of skulls here on okay. our car of creature features. Which of these animals do you recognize? Let's see. Either alligator or crocodile. Yeah. Do you know how to tell the difference? T-shaped to a U-shaped. All T show up on a crocodile. Crocodiles are more brown, more they're more brown and more green. And right. that, that's well, we're just looking at skulls. Oh. So the skull is no skin. <laughs> so you were right. You definitely got it uh, about the nose and the teeth. That's See, how we did definitely identify. Look at that. You can do our job. Check out the big brains on <laughs> Becky, huh? I learned it from Look wild rats when she watched it every morning. <laughs> Uh, this one's an alligator, right? Uh, I, believe, I believe so. The alligators have the round They have the U shape that you can't see all of their teeth. Right. So the alligators' teeth on top, they overlap the bottom teeth. Yeah, and the so crocodile's teeth will kind of zigzag together. It looks almost like a zipper. Very cool. Yeah. What do you notice about the eyes on the alligator? They're on top. They are on top of his head. <laughs> do you know why? Because he's a predator. Well, because birds. The water, too. The water, right? exactly. Because alligators live in the water, water, so when they poke their heads out of the water, they want to be able to see and breathe. So that's why their nose and their eyes are both on the top of their heads. Awesome. This one here is called Wild feet. Chicago. Um, and so the girls are heading something. Yeah, we have one in our backyard. Right, exactly. So <laughs> and what is this? The coyotes. Because coyote. they eat all our rats, and they keep our rodent problem down. Yeah. So we actually trap them. And they freak out their being. So here yeah. are all of the really coyote, clever, right? um, do you know what makes them poisonous? Yes, hiding. <laughs> Our coyote uh, activity, uh, yeah. Yes. So the red equals one pack, yeah. the green, the blue, and the yellow. And as you can tell, if you're ever familiar with Chicago, is that it's all downhill. 
So, so it's something that's also really cool about needed. Chicago is river otter. River, river otters. River otters. Um, really? Yes. Yeah, so right now, if you went to the Chicago Ooh. River, you wouldn't necessarily see them. But they're a really good indicator of when our rivers are going to be there's that other butterfly. So river, otter, river otters have started to come back in like the suburb areas, but they haven't come back to downtown because it's not clean enough. But if you feel underneath the river otter, if you look underneath the fur, they actually have two layers of fur. So you'll feel a softer fur on the end. So the fur on the inside keeps them warm, but the fur on the outside repels water. Yeah, it doesn't like... So so it reminds me of Avatar. They got these floating islands up here now. <laughs> okay, the first thing I think we're gonna check out is Africa. So let's see what this sign says right over here. Welcome to the Senegal and to Dakar, the gateway to Africa. Ministry of Tourism. Her and uh, Eli. Eli, yes. yeah. Mad drove. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. As we're just reminiscing, Carl just said that Becky and I and our friend Eli, we took them to the first time to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, I like this art work right here. How big is Africa? Oh my gosh, look at that. You can you fit can the United States, India, Argentina, Europe, China. That is one big there continent. There are a little bit of New Zealand in there. Yeah. With room to spare. Yeah. So how many languages do Africans speak? I would say probably close to, what, what'd you say, 100? I say 200. Um, 800! Wow. More than 800. As of 1993. But only 10 or so of the languages are spoken by culture of Okay. More than a million people. But still, 800 languages total. Most African languages That's are crazy. used by groups of fewer than 100,000 people. Huh. Can you name five African countries? Can you do it, Em? Five African countries. Um, hold on. Egypt. That's uh, one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be um, over there up there in the yeah, corner. That's this one, right? And then um matter of fact there's the Nile right there. Oh, Madagascar. Madagascar. And yeah. then um isn't You got two Hold on. Isn't like hold on. I gotta think about this. I haven't taken like Lebanon? No. Libya. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that's not there. Um I'm not gonna say that one. I'm gonna say I don't know. You're gonna say you don't know? Here they are. Here, what's up? My gosh! Look, Look at Egypt. I got it. Egypt, Libya, Libya. Look, you got Al Algeria, South Africa. That one <laughs> is literally South the name. Africa, Madagascar. I should have gotten that one. Chad. Look at that. The Sudan. So how many are there? There's like all we all they asked for was five, and there's like forty on here. Right. <laughs> Morocco. You That's could have nice. said Morocco. We almost went to Morocco. I know. I yeah. could have said Congo. I could have said any of these. So, how many African jump? So wait a minute. Africa, Africa from jungle? space. How much of Africa is jungle? How much of Africa is jungle? It looks like I'd say a this. third. Look, right? So, that's like that so almost the entire three, three, bottom three, half and then the, the, the desert up above. So a third. What do you think, Beck? <laughs> not a bit. There are no not a bit. Said. There is not one single oh, jungle in Africa. It was a trick question. It's not a jungle, it's a rain. Fifteen percent of Africa. African continent is a rainforest. Yeah, but it's got the How it's a lot of desert. What's between the Sahara and What's the between the Sahara and the savannas? Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> Kilimanjaro. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say uh, the the mountain the yeah. The mountain range? <coughs> yeah. Okay. <coughs> We're gonna land that is neither desert nor grassland. The zone is called Sahil, which is Arabic for short. So it's just a big strip in the middle. It's, so it's this right It's here. neither. It's this right it's, here. That it's is neither. the rainforest. Neither <laughs> rainforest nor desert. It's Brazilian and you can get us a here. Yeah, which there you go. Which would be, yeah. Ah, which would ah, be ah, in the middle. How much of Africa is dry grassland? <laughs> like reverse mohawk. 40%. <laughs> so we're looking at this strip here and then anything that's brown over there. 
That's the grasslands. A lot of lands. Africa's famous wildlife elephants, giraffes, zebras, and lions live on the savannas. And can you name three African deserts? Um, the Sahara. The desert. Sahara. Um, the other big desert there. The other and big one. The oh. other Kalahari. big desert. There. I don't know. Kalahari, the Sahara, Kalahari. and the Libya. Sahara, Libyan. Kalahari, and Libya. As at three point five million find all those in the Wisconsin Dells too. Miles. <laughs> at the water. It parks. covers more in than Vegas. a quarter of the continent. Okay, once you leave this room, we're going to explore the history of the Cameroon. Wow, we're going to see a lot of stuff. All right. We came here with Cole, and he just ran. Yeah. You weren't with me. Yeah, I was. I was. Yeah. This is the house of the country. We're standing in front of the royal palace of the Bamum. They have all sorts of different religious uh, beliefs and stuff, including Catholicism. It's like something from Conan the Barbarian, you know? The the <laughs> two times where Hello, my pet. <laughs> Ooh! They're all pretty surprised. I know, Whoa. these two are extra surprised. Those are like extra surprised, yeah. They're getting goosed from behind says, or something. Nijoa said, all kings who resist the white men will be, were defeated. <laughs> Barnum, you see, I have foolishly accepted your decision to resist them. They would have destroyed us all. The buffalo stood for strength. They have a lot of sculptures of buffaloes. So they would take tusks and they would carve images into the tusks that would tell a complete story. <laughs> oh, these guys are cool. To honor their ancestors, Benin sculptures made great works of art. Hens honor the dead. Okay, so that wraps up part number one. We, uh, uh, <clears throat> okay, so that wraps up part one of our visit to the Field Museum with our friends Carl and Ted from Minnesota. Um, I'm going to break it into sections. Uh, so you just saw Africa. Uh, and then uh, next we're going to see some animals uh, and different things like that. And I believe we go through Egypt and all sorts of neat things. So um, stay tuned for that. And I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. If you do, as always, give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys next time. And where the heck are the Albans? <laughs> Bye, everyone.